Damn, this nigga got a whole goddamn. Got a whole goddamn. Got a whole goddamn. He really got a blog. He really got a blog. So as far as on the, the artist side, um, do you currently have management? Um, no, no management. It's all myself. Um, I'm running everything. Um, I did not want to um, put anyone in a management position without uh, having them, uh, ha without having something to actually manage. Um, a lot of artists will jump out there into that realm and just try to get something, someone to rely on and they don't know themselves. Get a manager just to have a manager. Just to have a manager to say it because it looks cool. Well, although it could and sound good and all this stuff, I would rather them be put in position or if they're gonna be taking 10%, 15%, whatever, two, 10, seven, whatever percent they may need of what I'm going to be doing, what I'm gonna be bringing in through my year. I still gotta pay my bills. I still have to keep my lights on. I have all those things to do. If I'm paying out a manager that, and I gotta pay out studio time, I'm dishing out big budget videos. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm on my own. I'm cool with, with it being this until I have a whole umbrella and we have a platform for someone to build with me. You know, so it needs to be more so more so of a partnership. I don't want to just have that manager leading everything. It's like, hey, here's this date, do this. Here's this date, do this. You got an interview tomorrow, do this. I'm not. That's not how it's gonna kind of go for me. I need it to be conducted pretty evenly. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for now and then. You know, I got people in mind, but when the time come, it come. Cool. You know, exactly. Let me get a tour opportunity, a tour date. I have some management. That <laughs> that's when I'll be ready for that. Exactly. So definitely. And I try to tell artists. A lot of artists come to me and they ask me, how much do you charge to manage me? And I'm like, you yeah, must not you, know how that you don't, works. You don't, you don't understand, a consultant, right? Consultant, you pay for a consultant. Consultant, consultations, yeah. management is kind of like you have to be making money mm -hmm. for me to make money. Mm -hmm. So I try to help them out because a mm -hmm. lot of them want managers and they don't really know what that entails. Well, you know, then, so. Yep, exactly. And see, I had to make sure that was something I prided myself on. I don't, I'm a, I'm a knowledge-based person. So, uh... I studied up, I got the music business book right here, actually. I sit in here some days, I might not even come create and record. I just come just tap student, in with my music. Yeah, day, student, yeah. I might turn on my music, yeah. turn on my old vibes or whatever, and I may just, you know, tap in and see, well, okay, th today this is what royalties break down. This is how you truly get publishing. This is how you get this and this and this. Oh, okay, dang, now I can put this into my business. Like, that's how I kind of like to move uh, rather than just jumping out there like I said and thinking that some one man is gonna That's provide this whole thing for me it's just not realistic you know or woman in that matter I do know women that has offered um, management to me as well so yeah women seem to be more organized man, they, they be on it man she, she the shit. way she can it, the way she presented herself it, it made me consider management early it did mm -hmm. it really made me almost buckle down and be like yo I think this might I be did. the yeah this is it <laughs> but <laughs> yeah but at the end of the day I said you know I, I appreciate you seeing what you saw um, and I'll still utilize your services because she puts together shows and uh, coordinates so many different events around Atlanta and curates things all over the country so I was like, I'll still utilize your service. I'll continue to pay two to three hundred dollars, whatever I have to do to hop on your blog placements, get my name out there, invest in myself. Now, as people are coming, now you know I've also paid for your services. Boom! Now you can manage and have something to do. Yeah, because now I'm not a stranger to you. Now you know I'm willing to pay. I'm willing to invest. You know I'm willing to go through the hard work. So you're not gonna bail on me because you think I'm not working hard. Um, I have my own setup, so you can't think I'm not able to create fast no. enough. If somebody need a song, I'm able to get to a song and get it done. Like I just like to have something to offer. Like I said, bring it to the table. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying for sure. That's right. and, and that's important, like you say, having something to manage. So yeah, you're man. Basically, gonna come to them as a established package. Just, just I have yeah. My clothing line. Mm -hmm. I have you know my music. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it's it's multiple avenues to make money. Mm -hmm. So exactly, really exactly. Um, let's talk about still being independent no management um what's the biggest blessing with that wow the biggest blessing with having no management and being independent uh waking up every day and having the opportunity to create that's the blessing in itself alone right there i'm thankful for every day that i get the opportunity to still be independent not feel like i'm tanking in my funds finances or whatnot still living and managing my basic day-to-day -day lifestyle because that is more important than yes. You artists out there, I know y'all believe in y'all dream. Live, bro, you have to live first. That is very important. You have to make sure your finances are at hand, make sure bills are paid. If you are not paying your own bills, be in a situation where everything is taken care of before you out here just, hey, I'm gonna throw it all out here on my music, throw it out, because we can get swallowed up fast in these markets, you know, like, so. 
Um, to be a true creator, you have to have that peace of mind. That peace of mind, and that's what I had to build first. So actually, I've been putting out a lot of music over the past years. I had to take some time, even four months, and that's a long time for me to get away from the studio vibes and just get this right. I had to make sure my house was together. I had to make sure uh, my gym's together, and everything is in one. That way I could be a better version of me and take so, my music to the next level. So that's all I've been doing, really taking away from that. But now I'm back to it. I'm able to record how I want to. I'm able to do what I want. I know money set aside if I need to shoot visuals. Yeah, that's why I shot visuals yesterday. Just things like that, man. We keep keep things moving at all times. Yeah. All right, so we, that's the biggest blessing. Let's um. For sure. Let's speak on the biggest struggle. Ooh. Uh, goes back to finances and not having a team. <laughs> and the blessing of that all. The blessing is the curse in the same manner. Uh, I'm able to do that and, you know, solely depend on myself and be thankful that I can hire people, put them in position to, you know, bring out visions for me. But in the same sense, it's difficult when you're not with a team uh, for, for, say, let's say uh, the baby, uh, someone just for instance, uh, the baby, you may have a team, you know, you can have a videographer traveling with you at all times at 24 seven, no matter. And that's just not even only video production, but that can be vlogs. That could be your day to days, your YouTube content like that matters. People are able to connect, grasp and get a hold of you. Uh, having merchandise people with you at, at all times or people that's ready to automatically dish out money or finances to get tour merch ready or to get things going when you're automatically at this or you want a pop-up shop or all that kind of stuff man we need that you know brand ambassadors like you said just people you know throwing on my merchandise and taking pictures maybe i can't get to this city but y'all out in jacksonville florida this weekend i'm in atlanta or we got a show in north carolina but y'all can wear the tees and mark it down here and yeah you know let them know we had a marathon project going on or let them know we got this going on or whatever so that would be the the the, the struggle of it but um i like the struggle. i think that part keeps me hungry that keeps me hungry yeah that keeps me hungry for sure so I want to get into a little bit more of the music now. Okay. Um, new projects. Yeah. So you have a new EP coming out. Yeah, actually, new EP just dropped. Just dropped. Just dropped, just dropped. yes. Um, Marathon Music, yeah. uh, which is why I just referenced that the last um, time we were just talking. Uh, but Marathon Music, it is... As you can see, Nipsey hustles up on my walls. Um, I have him tattooed, his brand tattooed on my leg. Wow. Um, like Nipsey was a, a big motivation for not only the world, but I took it personal just because of what he displays. I feel like he's what all most black men, not perfect, you're not perfect, no means perfect, but the way that he took on responsibility of day-to-day -day struggle, life, whatever it may have been, and the way he wore it was what a lot of black men should kind of look up to being in modeling. Like, I really believe that out of Nipsey. So, you know, I had to believe in his brand and that's what Marathon Music came from. Uh, I had that idea a long time ago, just had never executed it. Um, I had the first project was Mobile Mindset. And the whole goal was to stay on M's. I like people like M's, you know, millions. We want to, everybody, everybody, we're going to M, one on the M, what's the name? So I keep the analogy of having M's, Mobile Mindset. So now I did marathon music and I wanted to keep M's going. So that was my whole point of that. And, um, once I came up with marathon music, I was just like, well, what is something I could do in the tape that'll be different? So I started an acoustic video. I did something with the harp guy, uh, harp season, shout out to him. Uh, met him through a Schoolies album. He was on Schoolies album. And then I met him and worked with him that way. Uh, have about seven songs on the project. They're on, the other two are on Spinrilla Live mixtapes. It was hosted by my guy, DJ Musician, shout out to him. Um, but now the other five that I'm really pushing are solely on all the platforms and I had to put the other two due to sampling purposes. I wasn't going to pay out that money to try to get yeah. clearance. So whatever. So, you know, we put it on live mixtapes, mixtape sites, and that was a tribute to Nipsey and, um, also a song called why can't, um, and I made those two due to just, why do we feel like, like, why can't you do this? Why can't this happen? Why do we have the why can'ts in our world? So I made that song for that, and the other one's a letter to Nipsey. So that's that whole project. That's all. You have vi visuals off there, right? Oh, my gosh. A lot of them. That's my, I think I want to get into directing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about one of the, uh, the visuals. Um, I Can't Breathe. Oh, yeah. Oh, what yeah. What was the inspiration behind that? And what message do you want to send out you know to the world from that track 
definitely the song if you go back and listen to it please do that is a song not made for only me that is a song made for you guys to share for your mom your little sister your brother your dad your uncle grandparents whoever um it embraces everything of what we just had to go through in our short time of uh, black culture brianna taylor i had a lot of references you know shout out to floyd shout out brianna taylor um just you know just Ahmaud Aubrey, uh, all these people making sure that I could uplift their voice as well and doing my part. Um, I knew to show my frustrations or to express my frustrations through social media or lashing out or rioting, that wasn't who I am. So I was like, do what I do best, make a song. Like, why, why do that? Just put my all into making this song and show how emotional I can get through this. Um, and I hired Tommy 4K to shoot the video, man, he went nuts with the concept. Once I told it to him, he was just like, I got it. And he said, can you find a police car? Can you find this? We put out a budget to complete the project. We did, but the investment was amazing. We had a whole watch party, had a it big- It seemed like everybody came Man, it was, it was crazy. Yeah. It was amazing vibes, like really was. Whole production on the set. Um, so it was amazing, I Can't Breathe. And then shout out to Mahogany, the other uh, artist on the song. Mahogany, she came through the studio and ate the verse up. I wanted to keep it simple, get the message out. She wanted to go for bars for bars, and it worked perfectly. So um, she brought that uh, to the table, and uh, shout out to her. You know, keep doing your thing, cat.